Iron Banner is back and it is the weekly reset, so I will be going over everything that's available for this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset and Iron Banner is back, but tons of other stuff is happening this week, as well as Triple Valor um, will be coming, or is coming, um, to Destiny 2 this week, and it is going to be glorious. Before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, as well as go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a great community that is growing each day. Also, a link to the Discord as well as the giveaway will be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and start with the challenges. As for the Traveler, we need to go ahead and complete 20 of Ikora's bounties, as well as get 5,000 XP for your clan, open 4 uh, chests, as well as forge 2 weapon frames. Coming over to IO, we have the Flashpoint for the week. And in order to complete this, we need to do public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If you do the heroic public events, you can get this done a lot faster, as well as your adventure for the day. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Void Singe, Iron, as well as Heavyweight. And then we have your Nightfall, which you need to complete a Nightfall and one with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are Water and Nothing, The Corrupted, and Strange Terrain. And if you guys actually want to know how to do a, a Corrupted Strike with 200k points, then I will put it in the annotation at the top right of the screen right now, or you guys can watch it at the end of this video. Coming over to Gambit, as for the Reckoning, we need to go ahead and get 100 progress uh, for the Reckoning. Uh, modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Attrition, as well as Heavyweight. Then for Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches, and then go ahead and complete four Gambit Prime matches. Coming over to Crucible, the playlist for the week is Iron Banner, and we need to complete five Crucible matches, and you could do that in any one of these uh, playlists except for Private Match. And then last but not least, coming over to the Dreaming City, which our wonderful Petra Revenge is in Ray Sylvia and you need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. Now the quote unquote darkness is uh, the strongest this week, so you will be able to do the Shattered Throne and you can still complete your Majestic Armor um, this week as well. Um, even though the Solstice event is over, you can still do your legendary gear and I guess some of the blue gear that um, doesn't require the EAZ. So let's go ahead and see what is up with Lord Saladin for this week. Ready for a battle with no limits. So we have your uh, wonderful Iron Banner bounties, and this week, huh? Maybe not. I still haven't even got this emblem. I shoot. I don't even think if I'm. I don't even know if I'm able to. Uh, haven't got the pace setter, and I don't know why they call this the pace setter when it's only 150 speed, like. Bro, B160. Um, then we get Iron Gold, Shader. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty badass on uh, the Outbreak Perfected. And then we have Iron Bone. Which also looks pretty badass on the Iron Perfected. Uh, with the Outbreak Perfected. <laughs> now, I do know that the quest... Um, for the Iron Banner was indeed updated. Uh, I don't know what changes they actually made to it, but I guess that now it's easier to complete. Um, so good on you guys who couldn't do it before. And last but not least, let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse. Always good to see you, Guardian. So starting with the weekly offerings, we get this wonderful ornament for the uh, Taraba. as well as this uh, ship. That actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, the Braytech Dream 9. It's a little uh, speeder. Coming down, we have the Drop Pod Shell. A little Warmind Shell, that's pretty cool. It's original, not like a reskin, so I like it. Then we have the uh, Meditative Moment Emote. 
Ah, reach your inner Zen. Keep going and see the world as it ought to be seen through the eyes of a guardian. You are one with the light and the traveler. I apologize. I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> then we have the best of year one engrams. As for our bright dust down here, we have the fire team medallion, the gleam and boon of the vanguard, as well as of the crucible. Then we have the cabal arrival transmat effect, as well as the solar shell and the Capri <laughs> Caprio Linux um, ornament for the stag. And I'm not going to lie. It makes the stag look pretty badass. Unfortunately, the stag is crap in D2. Then we have the Omega Mechanos Gauntlets for the week. And it's for Titans. Coming down, because we're going to skip all that, to the Bright Dust, we have the Stylus Sit. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what the name of the emote is when you actually sit backwards on a chair. Because uh, for some reason, I can't find it. And then we have the uh, Wobara B5 ship. That's uh, just another reskin. Then we got the Intrepid Inquiry boots for the Warlock. The Dream of a New World ornament for the Sturm. Eh, it's okay, whatever. Then we have the Credence for the trust. I actually like this on my trust. It looks pretty badass. And then we have a ship, Dust Carrier. Nobody cares. And then a uh, Imperial Beast Projection. Once again, nobody cares. As for the consumables, we got your Fire Team Medallion, your Gleaming Boot of the Vanguard of the Crucible, and then we got the Atmos Favorite Glow Shader. This actually looks pretty decent, actually. I actually like it. I know I said actually a lot, but still. It's a pretty interesting shader. Then we have your Dark Blade Effects, Transmount Effect. I actually like that. I, I definitely like that. I might buy one. As well as the Ancient Republic shader. Not a fond of it. And then last but not least, your wonderful Yellow Class Sigil. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.